right, let's look at how many dots we have. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five. We have five dots. All right, now this is one group of five. Let's make some new numbers using our group of five, but switching it up a little. So what if I pull one dot over here? Now I have four, good, one, two, three, four, and one more. So we're going to write that question, four plus one equals five. Now, if I was to move this dot over here and move this group of four over here, would it still equal five? That's right. So even if we swap the numbers, one plus four is still going to equal five. Let's see what other groups we can use to make five. So what if I had pulled one over here. Now I have one, two, and one, two, three. Three dots over there. And we still have five. So two plus three equals five. Even if I was to swap those dots again, we would still have the same group of five. So I'm going to write three, plus two, we just switched our numbers, and it will still equal five. We could even do that with our hands, so do it with me. So if I have two, let's count on till we get to five. Three, four, five. Two and three equals five. If I switch these numbers around, would I still have five? Yeah. I still have three and two, which makes five. All right, now let's do one last question. Can I make another group? Hmm, what if I have all five of them in one group and none over here? I would do five plus zero, and that still equals five. Five plus zero more still equals five. Well, what if I was to swap those around? Zero plus five still equals five. So we just made three different groups showing our number five. On the next slide, you're going to um, work on doing it with the number six.